Police say the gang that broke into a vault in the Hatton Garden jewellery are investigating an audacious raid. It was indeed a daring heist, a gang of old-school Korea criminals trying to pull off a £14 million safe deposit raid. It certainly caught public attention and is now the subject of a London film entitled The Hatton Garden Job. Maryland in East London is the location for the third week of filming, with cast members Larry Lamb and Phil Daniels on set. It's a great story. I mean, you know, us Brits rom romance about these sort of things a little bit, don't we? That You know, the, where people don't get killed and jewels are stolen. Shooting for four weeks across London, the movie is described as a comedy thriller. I think there's a thing of camaraderie as well in yeah. the end. You know, the, the fact that these guys come together, they don't necessarily spend their lives in each other's pockets. They know each other. And when it comes to putting together the right people to carry it out, it's a, it's a gradual process, you know? It's a sort of a caper. To make it as authentic as we could, we'd actually put in real concrete blocks so you can... This is the set, and the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the vault is, is exactly like this with render. Uh, then we put in these concrete blocks and cut through them, you know, to add to the realism of the actual event. It was described initially as a victimless crime, but people lost money, you know, people had... Um, of course. So what were the legalities that you had to consider? Well, we obviously, we did our, you know, the usual sort of, you know, legal reads to make sure that nothing was defamatory and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and we just stuck to what was in the public knowledge, you know, all the, all the individuals were found guilty of their crime, so we retold that story best we could, you know, but not straying from, from those facts. Any, any fictional elements we've added are, are something we've completely made up. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great mix of the real facts and, you know, some exciting new fi uh, fictional elements. Five of the gang are now in jail and one given a suspended sentence. The mysterious member known only as Basil is still on the run. The film is hoping for a release this winter. Brendan Manus, BBC London News.